Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about a new knife. The Smith & Wesson HRT Tactical Boot Knife. Um, this is product code SWHRT1 and um, sorry but I haven't a clue what HRT stands for. I didn't look it up. Um, this is advertised as a boot knife. It uh, comes in a sheath. I have no idea if it's actually Kydex or not. Um, it is plastic. There you go. It's got a very deep finger groove here. Worn cliff edge. Pretty decent sized scales. And as again, it's a fairly thick blade. Let me give you some physical stats on it. Uh, overall length is 8 inches. Um, blade length from the uh, grip to the tip, from the scale to the tip, is 3.95 inches. Actual cutting edge is 3.35. I give the actual distance from the scale to the tip because sometimes law enforcement will count that as the actual blade length. So it's kind of good to know. Um, blade thickness is 0.2 inches on the nose. Uh, the overall weight of the blade is 7.4 ounces, that's knife and sheath. Just the knife alone is 6.2 ounces. You're thinking to yourself, 6.2 ounces, that's a fairly hefty blade, and you would be correct. This is a big, beefy knife. In fact, I would go so far as to say is that I consider this to be somewhat of a failure of a boot knife. It's just too big and heavy in my mind. They should have made this thing a whole lot thinner. Instead of being two tenths of an inch, it should have been 125, maybe 150. The scale should have been half as thick as they are here, and you would have saved a whole lot of weight. Now, as an overall knife, however, this has a really wonderful hand feel. I mean, this thing just fits into your hand so well. It's just very comfortable. It fills your palm up nicely without being too large. My hands aren't too very aren't very big, and it fits my hand very well. Um, you can also do a, a grip like this. If you want to do some precise cutting like this, and you're very comfortable. And with your finger locked in this very deep groove, you're not going anywhere. Okay. And it's also oddly the only boot knife I have ever encountered that is heavy enough, long enough and uh, it's basically strong enough to function as a skull crusher which again kind of adds my comment that it's a failure as a boot knife now one of the things that would have improved it I think is that the sheath here has a clip it's plastic form this should have been movable because I normally when I carry a boot knife and I actually wore a boot knife for years two or three years of my life I wore a boot knife every single day I would wear it on the inside of my left leg. This is my left leg like this. But I can't do that with this. I have to wear it like this on the inside of my left leg, which means if I try to draw it, the blade edge is going to be facing that way, and that's just a really odd position to have it in. So I had to wear it on my right leg. I wore it both one each day to see how it, how it felt. So I'm wearing it on my right foot. So here's my boot. And there it is, fully seated in my boot. Okay? Now, it's fairly unobstru unobtrusive. Put your pant leg down. My pant leg normally comes to here. So you're not going to see this in the least. The problem is, is to get this thing out of my boot, I have to reach down, pull on this with my... With push, push on this, the uh, flange, and then draw it. That's a very awkward position to put your hand in when you're trying to draw a blade. In fact, the only place I found that this was comfortable for drawing the blade is the place where I'm probably going to be least needing a blade. When I'm sitting on the toilet. Yes, that's the only time I ever countered drawing this blade was easy, easily accessible. You can't ramp it off with your thumb. And to me, that would have been the preferable method of getting this off. If I could have reached down, put my thumb here, and then pushed, and had my had the blade come out, that would have been better. But you have to move one of these little sections here. 
once you do that, it comes out fine. And as far as the retention, the retention's fine. In fact, I would feel comfortable strapping this to a pack like this and, and not worry about it falling off. And the sheath is got a, uh, the hook on here is strong enough that you could put this on uh, a strap like that and I think you would not want to be overly concerned about it. You might want to put something like a zip tie or something on there if you were concerned about it coming off. But it's got some nice retention. It has, goes in and out quietly. Um, I think it's a really well-made blade. It's got a nice grind. You can't really probably tell in this, but if you look, I mean, the grind is nice and even. The cutting edge is decent. If obviously, being a Warncliffe, it's not going to be great for a lot of cutting tasks. But like, I, I used it this morning to cut some dried apples just to see how well it cut. And you can do that, but I was only able to cut it successfully because I had it on a cutting board, which let, let my fingers have a place to go. Because on a flat edge like that, it's hard. Okay, I just happen to really like the aesthetic of, of, of a Warncliffe blade. Um, and I have used them for like box cutting and things like that. And for that, they, they have worked admirably. Um, but I discovered while wearing this for the past couple of days, why I don't wear them any longer? That carrying a boot knife is really obvious when you go to take it out. There is no subtle way to get a boot knife out of your boot. I normally carry this, Spyderco Tenacious, okay? I can have it out of my pocket, open, cut the job I want to cut, and back in my pocket before most people are even aware they have been in the presence of a knife. Because a lot of people get freaked out by blades. So if I can have something which is it literally at my hand's hand height, in my back pocket, I out, open, cut the thing, close, back again, in seconds, as opposed to bending at the waist, pulling up my pant leg, awkwardly moving my right hand into a position to get the knife out, and then cut the task, and then put the whole thing back, by which time my pant leg has probably fallen down. That is not what I'm looking for. So I don't see the utility of this. I could see this if you wanted to carry a knife for the express purpose of getting into trouble. And if you're carrying a blade for the purpose of getting in trouble, I don't want to hang around you. I don't see this as a self-defense weapon. I don't see it as a utility device. I'm failing to see it, its, its useful, usefulness to a person that buys it as a boot knife. Now, as a backup knife, or like I said, you want to carry it on a pack, you want to carry it maybe in your back pocket or on a belt, as you know, you're comfortable carrying a fixed blade knife out in the open because they're, they're, for example, they're legal in my state to carry. I could carry this on my belt. I just think it would be getting caught on stuff and it's much more obvious. I don't necessarily need to have people know, hey, he's got a knife sticking out of his belt. It makes people nervous. This hanging like this in my pocket, so all you see is that much sticking out, is much less going to cause people to get upset. And sometimes... Subtlety is good. So, I don't regret buying it. I picked it up for 20 bucks off of Amazon. Um, I bought it because I needed to bump up the cost of something I ordered for my wife so I could get free shipping. And uh, they sent it to me early. The item that I bought for my wife is not actually shipping until January. Uh, but it's a nice knife. Uh, I, it feels good. I'm glad I own it. Um, I, I'm definitely, I've been playing with it for like the last four or five days. Um, and uh, it's a nice blade. I just, I just don't quite grasp why I ever carried a boot knife. And this particular boot knife, to me, fails to meet that criteria of being easily accept accessible and light, which is two things I think you really need. So maybe I'm just the wrong person to ask about the whole uh, boot knife thing. By the way, the way, I didn't notice the extra weight in my, uh, in my boot, but I also wear steel-toed boots for a living. So they're really bloody heavy. So the extra weight really wasn't noticeable by me. It may be different for you. You may notice six ounce, seven extra ounces in, uh, strapped to your leg. I didn't. Have a good one.